Hi, my name is Patrick. My name is Lisa. I'm Matt Strebe. I'm Lucian. 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 I'
doing a project that has some input, some output, can talk to LEDs that change multiple colors, can even talk to little LED boards. We have a student that made a wonderful scrolling LED board that set waypoints. So as you're walking around every day, you can remember important places, set different messages, and leave messages in geolocations. The vision of Slab realized very early on that people need to have designers design the interaction and then engineers design the system. Schools, it's important for design schools to teach designers the basic understanding of these systems and to do the simple sketching, you know, simple wiring, simple connections to have an understanding of how these systems work and what they can do and what they do really well and what they do not so well. For my shoe, I was looking at cycling shoes um, and in particular mountain biking shoes um, because Mountain biking shoes, although made for mountain bikes, are used a lot in street riding. So I wanted to do something that would be functional both as a walking shoe, but also functionally functioning as a cycling shoe. Two main technologies that I was using were a cadence sensor, which uses magnets to sense a rotation, and then another sensor will go in the top of the shoe, and that is how you'll figure out heart rate. I used an elephant print kind of like an elephant print. That was one of the most amazing things I think that happened here. It inspired also the two students who are not from RISD, like Young Woon, who then went out and made an incredible sketch, really incredible sketch of the Dutch sounds of Schoen, the, the, the area with the windmills and the, the tulips. And I was just amazed to see it. It was his first sketch ever. But the reason why he got to do that was that he saw everybody sketch. We're so integrated in looking at the internet for everything. No matter how we go on to it, it's not, it's not tactile, you can't touch it, smell it. You can't use all your senses for it. Being in a different culture, it brings out a whole new rawness in a way. You're exposed. All these little tiny things, they to a designer, it gives them a new understanding of how does it feel to be so unfamiliar with something. There's a whole new format to how people can react to my designs. Globally taking classes on these trips, I think has, has given this type of essence that you can't, you just can't find on the internet. Students from ID, jewelry, fashion fibers, and engineering bringing in the students from other schools and their countries. Each one of them added a different type of taste to their making of skills. It's definitely been a community building type of class. Giving each other the support they need to carry on. You can start to feel like you're part of Volvic.